This is a quick tutorial into your external hard drive. Now, whether you have a Western Digital or if you have a Seagate or whichever brand, this goes out for all external hard drives. Now, it will be very easy. Once you plug it into your computer, okay, you want to format it, okay? Especially with Mac, we want to use Time Machine and other stuff like that. Um, and that's why we want to format as the first thing that we do. So, even though if you don't get something like this on your Mac, once you plug your external hard drive in, don't worry. The external hard drive is basically just like a USB stick, just a lot faster, and um, you'll see that you have a lot more space. So, first of all, we want to go to Disk Utility. So just type in Disk Utility. All Macs have that, okay? No matter what year your Mac is. You're gonna have Disk Utility. It's a program that's always on your Mac, okay? From here, you're gonna see this right here. Okay, your first one, don't touch that one. This one will be the one in your computer. Okay, that's your hard drive in your computer. If anything goes wrong on your Mac, this is somewhere you go to fix permissions and other stuff. Um, but right now we're gonna touch this, which is our Seagate. Okay, I do have a Western Digital and other ones that I'm gonna restore as well. However, we're gonna do this one first. And it's the same thing for all brands, like I said. Uh, so first of all, we want to format. So, we want to go to Erase, from Erase, you just want to format it for Mac, okay? If you want it to work for Mac and PC, then choose this option right here, and just click on Erase. If you want it to work just for your Mac, okay, so if you plug it in, if you formatted this format right here, journal, if you plug it into a PC, it will not recognize it, okay? So you can't copy and paste files. Uh, and share them with a, another Windows machine. If you have another Mac, you just want to work with Mac, you want to get viruses on it or anything like that, then just do journal. If you want to, you know, have exchanges with PCs and other Windows machines, then you want to choose this option and then just erase it. Once you have that erased, you're gonna see something like this pop up. Okay, if you don't see this pop up, if you go to Finder, you will see it on the side. So I'm gonna open up Finder so you guys see that. It will be right here under devices. Okay, this is once you erase it. Okay, that means formatting. You're gonna see it empty right now. I haven't pasted anything onto it. Um, like I said, it's just like a USB stick, so you can just copy and paste stuff onto it. Um, in this case, okay, I'm gonna do a little bit something a little bit more complicated onto it. Okay, I'm just gonna teach you that because a lot of you may want to do this, especially if you have Mac. Okay, now. You want to go into partition. Under partition, now I have a five terabyte. Now I need three partitions. What are these three partitions? One partition is gonna be my time machine. The other partition I'm gonna make it just for some files that I have. And the the third partition is actually for gonna be for my photos. My photos take a huge bunch of my uh, space, so I need one partition just for that. So that means I have to divide it by three. Okay, so in order to make partitions, just click on the plus sign. So once we click on the plus sign, if you click right here on the first one, it will make it right in half, so it's 2.5. Okay, so we're gonna make another partition. There we go. So you divide it by three, but it still kept this one at 2.5, made this one 1.25, 1.25. You can set them um, pretty much however you want them to be. At this point, what I need is this one to be actually three terabytes. So I'm gonna leave it at three. I only need this one to be one terabyte. So I just type in one. And this one, I want it to be one terabyte as well. Okay, so right now this one should be three, one, and one. So that equals five in total, okay? So this one, the three, I want this to be my time machine. Here I'm gonna copy some files onto it, and here also some other files. Now, this is the cool part about your external hard drive. Now let's say you may need, um, and especially if you only have one external hard drive, which I don't recommend just having one, you should have two always. Um, if you just have one, you may need it to share some information with a Windows machine. So if you want it to work like that, then you want to have one of these and you can format part of it to be XFAT. So that will work with PC. So you can have this and you can name it, you know, PC or Windows compatible. So that way you know that this partition is the only one that will work uh, with PC. So if you plug it in, you're only gonna see this partition come up and 
you can share files in that partition as long as you format it at XFAT. Now if you don't want that, you don't need that, just uh, format as journal, which I'm gonna do. From here you can choose the name. So here it's gonna be for my pictures, so I'm just gonna put photos on them. Okay, you can name it whatever you want. Uh, for my number two partition, this is actually a major backup that I have. So I'm just gonna name it backup all. And this one right here, this one I want to be my time machine. So I'm not gonna name it anything at the moment. Now you could name it whatever you want, like I said, like these ones right here. Um, but I'm gonna leave this one alone because I don't want it to be named anything at the moment. Um, from here, don't worry, if you change your mind later on, you can always do this again. You just have to erase again, and then just apply everything, and then you'll go back to normal. So don't worry about screwing up this part, you can always change it. Now, every time we erase something, you will lose files that you have in it, so don't just erase your stuff unless you don't care about the stuff that's in your external hard drive. Um, from here, we're just gonna press apply so partition and this shouldn't take too much time it's not a big thing what it's doing um, if you are formatting for PC um, it will take a little bit more time that's all just a tiny bit more time other than that you are making three partitions so it's kinda like making three different external hard drives in all in one so that's why I like making partitions on my external hard drives. Um, in this step, you, you could skip all this and just, like I said, format it one thing and then you have it set up and that's it. You can just copy and paste all your files onto it. So once it's all set up, now it's finished, um, you should see three icons on your Mac, which are right here. So here's my entitled, I didn't entitle it. My backup, all my photos. Okay, from here I can just name this one Time Machine and then to set up my Time Machine I can always just go right into System Preferences. Okay, so we're gonna wait for that to load up. I'm just gonna close this for now, we don't need this utility anymore. Um, from here if you want to set up your Time Machine, I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial right now. Um, as far as just formatting your your hard drive, you're done, you're all set to go. Um, from here I'm just gonna teach you your time machine, which I think everybody should use. So anyways, here you have your option for time machine. Now time machine backs up your Mac, um, backs up all your files, your system itself, um, your program, so if anything crashes or anything happens, you can always go back in time with it, and then just load it up. So that's why I really like time machine. Um, Okay, so here I have a few time machines set up already. Now I want to set this one up as um, as one of my time machines. So I just have to go into options. Okay, so hold on, just click on that. Click on options. Okay, so here we have stuff that you want to your time machine to exclude. In this case, we don't want to set that up just yet. We want to set add another drive onto it, so just click on there, and from here you can just click on your untitled. Um, at this point, before doing this, I would already rename this, so to rename it again, you don't need to go to this utility, just click on it, press return key on your keyboard, uh, then just press delete, and you can name it Time Machine. Okay, um, you don't have to. I just find that it's better to do that, so you know what's going on. Um, I do have other time machines here that I don't need. Anyways, uh, just click on that, and from here you should see your time machine, three terabytes, okay? And you can just click on use disk. As soon as you do that, it's gonna format it to be used with time machine. Um, you can also, um, once you have it set up to time machine, you don't always need to use it as time machine, you can always copy and paste files onto it. I don't recommend doing that anyways, but uh, you could. So don't worry if you've done that and you're like, no, I really want to put files in them, in there, you can. I just don't recommend it and that's why we made the partitions. So that's it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them here below. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.